Okay, how's the kangal? Boom, boom. All right, the kangal? No, man. I'm gonna kill this one. No, man. All right, all right, let me see. Blessed day my viewers and my subscribers before we jump in at the topics my beginning to hit that like button it will be greatly appreciated now the topics coming up in this video Obia workers gets busted by police in Jamaica being a man carries new girlfriend Camille to meet his late mother popcorn gets superstar welcome in Gambia Futa hype gets put in his place by Andre Stevens over comments he made Rami sends a message after being tagged about spice this in Shensia LA Lewis blast maroon chief Richard Curry in an interview and speaks his mind so the first thing we're going to talk about is the Obia workers being busted by the popo. You understand? And yes, people, most of you are supposed to know that this is not legal in Jamaica. As much as you don't hear people sing song about it, and you have a bag of them type of people all over the place. You understand? So the popo them basically catch a couple youth, look like maybe about two or three of them. You understand? And them catch them with um, what, cucumber. Them catch them with people name pa one paper. I'm not sure if a parchment paper or what. And them catch them with candle. One bag of thing. You understand? So of course, the youth them a try to talk them way out tight now because them afraid because the popo say yo I forgot carrying a go down a station you know I forgot locking up feet because remember as I say people that practice is not legal and things so I run this video so you can see what I go on all the people are react to it and thing and honestly <laughs> the man them seem like them out to get somebody you see me all Sam's right on the paper and them thing but check out the clip here and they will actually move forward to some of the comments them because I'm showing some of the people them reaction and thing you see it so yeah check this out I mean, what you say? No, why I read something in there? So you're right, you name for the paper. And you're supposed to hold somebody. And you're going to say an obia, you're going to call it. Go to the class, you can't go. Go to the class. Alright, you can't go. No, man. I'm gonna kill this one. No, man. Alright, alright, let me see. All right, my people, so when you see what I go on, Zane, and I'm not joking thing, the man named Depan, the man named Ready to Get Somebody and thing, and that's if it even were, because, you know, some people believe in it, some people don't believe in it and things. So, I don't know, they have a saying, say, believe what? Believe, kill, and believe, cure. Don't it, people? But one person left a comment saying, me reaching over for my Bible to see what Psalms 5, 22 and 5 says. And next person said, mighty God. Somebody said, I, I just got one question. What did the cucumber do to be drawn in this shit? <laughs> and next person said, Father God, do, do not make nobody obey me or my family. Somebody said, that's why so much evil spirit roam in Jamaica, because everybody have practiced them thing. Yeah. And next person said, I bear every keep up a JA, like we grew up knowing about Obi and thing, but it wasn't displayed this openly. Now it seems as if there's more Obi workers than Christian in a JA at this point. So yes, my people, when you see what I go on, you see what I say? And I guess it's up to you whether you want to believe in it or if you don't want to believe in it or not. You understand? Well, the people, I guess, they might take up them practice and now, especially if you get back at people who maybe diss them or whatever it may be. You see me? Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the youth named Andre Stevens clapping back at footer hype. You see my people? Now the last video one do, I actually play an Instagram live in night where footer hype did a diss up this youth. And obviously you know that youth are the one who come out and he must say certain things about Mr. Holness and thing. You understand? And basically he did one go live with footer hype for address Holness and you know him cabinet and him team and this and that and certain things where him know. Because remember him used to be affiliated with them you know. See, when you see him have picture with Holness and shake man and all of them things so you don't know say what well, people are run with him now what well, the people believe what he must say and as me say him did one go live with footer but you know how footer hype stay from him no say you dip on a certain side you don't know me at all about because footer come out and call him a sprat which the youth actually felt a way about you see me so him actually responded to footer talk about him and all of that and the youth say he is more intelligent than footer him stack up a bag of things you understand people and him even explain the reason why him did one go live because footer said the youth try get him followers them and you know a clout him and look and all of them things so i'm going to play a little piece of the live so you can hear what he must say and only can tell more anything about it, you see me? Will Futa Hype respond to him? 
I don't know people because I don't know if hype go back and forth with, with him just based upon him orientation alone because that is the reason why Futa don't even want to go live with him. Anyway, people, listen what this youth have to say. You don't have my level of intellectual capabilities for an, for an entertainer. You're brilliant. But if you go down the road of who sounds more factual argumentation is grounded, Put a hype, you couldn't beat me in a debate. And the fundamental reason of which I which I call on you to join the conversation is not to use a platform. Put a hype, I'm the most trending thing on YouTube and all social media platforms. How is it then that I would need your platform to amplify my voice? I have Wayne Lonesome's platform. I have Jamaican Carlos platform. I have Mota Massey platform, Virtual Boss platform. But Put a hype, you... I chose you to have the conversation with me for the basis that honorable gentleman. On the basis that you have been speaking for near three years about the system of rigidity, the system of corruption, cronyism, the system of capitalism that is capitalism to the detriment of people. That is why. That is why. That is why, Futa Hype, you should not even be having a conversation about who is brilliant and who is not and who want use which whose voice and who want no man think about it sir in advocacy the more voices are joined is the more the conversation is sought solid it is called joined up approach so if you me Wayne lonesome dr jamaica carlos virtual tv motor Massey, comes together on one platform you would have amplified the voice by numbers so you're carrying your numbers yeah man people so that is some of the things that we have to say the instagram live was very long you understand all the people even join him on the live and i talk to him and you know all the people are side with him all the people are different him and all of that you understand but Futa no one year way maf well, I'm not gonna say no one year way maf say, but Futa no one do no live with him. And you no know how them man they always have about certain things. And I tell you this. If Futa forgot live with this youth here, seeing all the people are gonna run with it and they're gonna twist it up and they're gonna say, yo, Futa went live with such man and this and that. You no know the thing, you see me? So I guess him have to try to uphold him reputation. Cause if you did watch the Instagram live, you know, Futa even get vexed just thinking about going live with this youth. The man all just say, yo, people, my gone, you know, call me I get vexed right now, you see me? And him end the live. So just thinking about it make Futa vex and the man cut the live and thing. So just imagine if him should go live with him and you know, I stay up on the phone and all them things. That alone would have probably make him upset just based upon his um, perspective towards people who depend on that side, if you don't understand what I say. You see my people? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Mr. Zaga Zao being a man, you see me? Basically taking his new girlfriend, Camille, to actually meet his late mother. You see my people? You know, say being a man lost his mother and thing. And you don't know the thing, or the boss there in a Jamaica and, you know, him and him girlfriend have spent some time together. So him actually carry her to his mother's tomb and thing, you see it? So let's get into an article where I explain all of this and you can leave some comments, you see me? So it's a Beanie Man takes new girlfriend, Camille, to meet his late mother. Beanie Man brought his new girlfriend, Camille, to his late mother's tomb. Moses Davis, Beanie Man, government name, and Camille have taken their relationship to a new level after the entertainer brought his new queen to his mother, Holy Shrine. The prolific Fit DJ has made it known that his mother was the one constant in his life. Liliet Sewell, our mama Liliet, as she was affectionately called, suffered a series of strokes that left her hospitalized and be ridden in 2020. She eventually passed away in September 2020, leaving a devastated beanie man to pick up the pieces. The entertainer laid his mom to rest on October the 25th, 2020, during the heights of the CV-19 pandemic. The funeral, which was held in the Brampton district of St. Elizabeth, attracted scores of people who came out to celebrate the life of Mama Liliet. The Jamaican dancer legend ensured his mother's resting place was no ordinary six feet tomb. A multi-layered mausoleum was constructed to the house, the body of the singer's late mother. Beanie would go on to visit the site on numerous special occasions, such as his mother's birthday. During these visits, fans got the opportunity to see inside the lavish tomb, ceiling ascent lights, a couch, and other decorative elements ensured visiting the area was something of a special experience. Beanie Man and Camille have been flaunting their relationship on social media for the past few months. After they made things official in November 2021, the former
former wife of industry strongman Kaka Lee and the one-time flame of Bounty Killer was all smiles as she got her official tour from the Romy singer. The clip uploaded to social media shows the two wrapping their arms around each other while Beanie captures the pink and white mausoleum in the background. This is mom's, he said before adjusting the camera for a clearer shot. This is the second attempt at love for the couple who first attempted a relationship approximately 20 years ago. It seemed time has no patch all bumps and the two are now pressing forward in love even if that means ruffling the feathers of fans and critics alike. Beanie, who was previously dating Crystal Tomlinson, the mother of his youngest, has faced the burnt of the criticism for not seeming interested in the video shared on social media. Others have pointed out that the entertainer has never actually shared any videos or pictures about his recent relationship to his social media account. Regardless of his mom passing away, this was still a nice gesture as his mom meant a lot to him. Some are only not even meet the living legend mother, one person said. Yes, people, Camille also made a post saying, standing firm by my man's side at his beloved mother's grave after taking me to meet her. May her soul continue to rest in perfect peace. You see it, people. So, you, know, you can definitely tell Sabine man love this woman. Yo, I like, feel like I hate this film. Enough people feel like say him so move on and him so this and that, but I feel like I hate this for being a man. You see me? That's my personal opinion still, but you know, because you can't see the man really love her and thing. You see what I'm saying? Um, I never really seem this affectionate with Crystal, to be honest. Um, I don't really remember the relationship where him and Angel did have on all them people, but I talk recent relationship. I don't seem this affectionate. You see me, but it is what it is, people. The man I live him life and I do him one for the you see me. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're gonna talk about Ramesh making a post on his Instagram page. And I guess this post is for the people them who are tag him um say spice this shensi and this and that. You understand? Ramesh is making it clear, say him and him team are strictly money them are focused on, you understand? Them not have time for the bag of mix up and the bag of sauce and them things. So what Ramesh did was actually posted up a few of the persons them who him sign, you understand? Showing say look, everybody book out and enough you team make a eat food and thing as it. So he make a couple posts as me say and him say a money me and my team are pre there can only be one Ramish entertainment and we make no food fly out and eat food. See ya, this week fully booked. Bishop Escobar will be in Orlando and Miami. DJ Scrappy will be in Maryland alongside CD Fantasy. One team, one dream. We don't care LL people. We build them and that's final. Ramish world do the bookings. You see it, people. So, that's how I'm to say now. The man say money my pre. Him not have time for the bag of mix up, the bag of gossip and them things. You see me? And as you notice, Ramish not really address certain things, you know. Zane, because I feel like if I did one time, he would have probably make a little shady post or something. You see me? Because I even see some persons, well, I actually see one comment, I should have said. I'm not say some people. I see one person say Ramish, I got to take it up on him head because Spice allegedly dishensy and thing. But so far, I don't seem like him really taking no shots off of Spice or nothing. So it seems like the man don't really care about that. You see me, people? So that's where Ramish have to say, money in my pre right now. So I suppose all of the people they want to tag him under the video. Because I don't know how social media stay. They want something to start up on them things. You see me? I don't go on, you know. But one thing I can say, if she doesn't no respond, they might say she has run from it. You see me? I know that for a fact. Because I remember when she and Jada did clash, you know. She did go and make a speech. Or she did do a little dub or a song on the stage. When Jada did do a song, I know she doesn't no respond in her song. Enough people did say she run them time there and she afraid of Jada and them things. You see people? So I'm pretty sure they might probably say the same thing. But I don't think she doesn't care. She's busy and make her money and things. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're gonna talk about the unruly boss Popcorn getting a superstar welcome in Gambia. You understand, people? Me not lie. The people in over Africa, them yo, me not know Popcorn. Come like you forgot us go over they go live to the amount of love we are get. You see, not saying that Jamaica people no love you know, but trust me, <laughs> yo, the people them come out. But anyway, this is where the story say. Popcorn gets superstar welcome in Gambia. The unruly boss is currently in the African nation of Gambia, where the entertainer performed on Saturday, January the 15th at the Independent Stadium in Bakao. To confirm his arrival in the country, he took to Instagram and said, Gambia were there. In one of his videos, persons can be seen on their knees trying to get a glimpse of the St. Thomas DJ. In another video, there was a motorcade with hundreds of people participating with much excitement. 
popcorn could be heard laughing while he records the proceeding. One person said, yo, big up yourself, popcorn, we love you. Popcorn recently visited Ghana where he had a blast, making good and bad headlines almost daily. However, he enjoyed his time there. So yes, people, I'm going to run some of the clips them now so you can see what's going on with Papi in a Gambia and thing as it. So check out these clips. <laughs> I'm like her, no? I see him like. Yeah, man. You don't believe him, Look at him. Yo, get, get me like four, so like this. 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 Like that is they don't know what they have done no 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 Ready to step on your Can I put this one side? Yeah, put this one. Not that. Let him bring what he wants. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone is there. No, I want this tree. No, I like this. This, that, is that part of it? Yeah, both of them. Okay. 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 You know where you go? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, man. Let's yeah. go, thank you, man. Hey, 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 hey. It's great, man. It's a celebrity. It's not fun, you know? It's not fun, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is it. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a lion still. Yeah, I'll give you a lion. You get it? No, I have a no, next no, one. I can't Give anyone. It's over there. No, I need it. Where is it? It's it stick. Yeah. Yeah, it's stick, yeah. Power, man. Well. Yeah, thank you, brother. Love, I love you so much. Um, Respect. Um, One love. Yes. Um, you know what you do? We need something from here, though. Souvenir. Let me get some of these ones. Yeah, get some. Let me get this. Let me get this. Yeah. Put them in my house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah, for real. It's still for you. Good, good, good man. There you go. Square friend, yeah. This bad in a month. Yeah man, so as I said, the people them love him over there and I also have some more footage for, to play for you guys, is it me? But I'm going to play it after I finish the next topic and thing, is it? So look out for that at the end of this video. But anyway people, yeah man, Papi enjoy himself over there and you definitely can tell so the people them love and appreciate him, is it me? Now nah, like, very few artists as you get them type of treatment, you know, you see me? The people them love Popcorn like, wow! But it also seem like something happened to Popcorn over there as he actually lost his phone. You see people, so he did make a post saying, Thank you Gambia, it was a historical night. And he put some prayer emoji and the flame emoji. Now to my loyal fans, find my iPhone and bring it to my hotel. You see people, so it seemed like Papi lose him iPhone over there. I don't know how that happened. Maybe he did a jump up or and he dropped out of his pocket. I don't really know people, but that's how he says it. He wants the person who have him phone to actually bring it to him in hotel. So that's how going on what's going on. Anyway, people, leave some comments and let me know anything about this. You see me? I'm going to just move on to the next.
next topic now, which is L.A. Lewis basically exposing Chief Richard Curry, you see me, which obviously you know, said the Maroon Chief that. I remember the other day when a S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G did take place down uh, the Maroon Town Zane and somebody did lose them life. I think them they keep some festival or something down there and the poor poor did have said no, them shouldn't keep nothing and them did still go ahead and keep it. Somebody did lose them life and thing. Now, L.A. Lewis did call the Maroon Chief on the phone, on him phone, Zane, and the man hung up on L.A. Lewis and thing. So L.A. Lewis do an interview now, and the person asked him about it, and basically he might expose something. He might also feel like the person was sacrificed. Some, something like some he might talk about, say the Maroon Chief actually do that, and one bag of thing he might talk, you see me? I'm not even going to say nothing more, you know, people. I'm going to get in the video so you can see what I'm going on, and you can tell me where you think about this, where L.A. Lewis has said, you see it? The Maroon Emperor. Well, um, I'm the Emperor for the old, for the global Maroon. I am the head of the, the, the near cap of Maroon. I am the one who talked to the Governor General the last time. So dig up the Governor General, you understand? And my signature is the one who up on over three point eight million Maroon bird paper, Maroon identification, Maroon nativity paper, mm -hmm. and our quote um release from everybody I use now who don't want to get the injection. No, I have never been kicked or out. You know, say me a bad, bad, bad maroon already, mama sleep. So no boy can kick or, or, or boom me. You understand? Yeah. So that was uh, the, the, arch the, the, the archive keeper for the maroon. He was the first one who appointed me as the head of the maroon. Then after a while now, then Richard Curry now, um, grand uncle that's Melvin Curry, which you see me a picture with him and my father, the maroon ID. And that was three years before Richard Curry even coming to existence. That are from, um, Fair and the dead, eh? and from fair and the dead again now. Mm -hmm. Um, and when I was getting my um paramount chief position, it was in a compound with my cousin now, who is nanny, um, great um, grand nephew now, um, and also Basrad now, and the African Orthodox um high priest that that is Russ Lowell. Um, what is the issue with you and Curry then? No, you know, say so me and Curry really have no issue. Um, no, I'm running off my phone. No, he didn't run on me off my phone. Him, 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 him run from the phone. Run oh, from the phone is different from run alpha. Mm. Remember, I was the one who called him to ask him, say, Curry, your bodyguard, sh the look at you to them belly three times. Curry just coming at you. Andrew Wilson just coming at me. Then it a long time before Andrew Wilson, them young, them up. Now, the youth was shot. Lied now is Richard Curry bodyguard. You understand? So, oh, Richard. The police. I don't know if he's a police or an ex-police, but it's Richard Curry bodyguard. In coming out of the event, walk back in the event, they look at the boy and say, listen, we have a peer coming at the event, you know, because you understand Curry said, nobody have to come in without peer. Then him now should be look at you, the youth should be back and look at altercation go on now. In pop off him, glad 45 or to one him or desert eagle. Blah, blah. Three sh look at the boy get in belly, which is another Freemason, but you know I'm a Freemason. Three, you understand? Death, three mean death, him have Boom, which Curry wear the blood. Before um, the, 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 the event start on the stage, then they put on the dead boot now where the Roman Catholic Pope them wear in an army color, which means a war for go on. Because I'm an ex Luminati, I'm an ex Freemason, which everybody knows that at the time I was the biggest buff in Jamaica. Go for curry now, I'm a curry come different himself, and then take care of curry, and yes. the two are in her, and then you will know what to lie. So you will know all the $10 million the Aye. Jamaican government, the game, and the Chinese, and for the backside thing, and he may lick out against backside when he collect $10 million, but that is a different story. Okay. So curry are the one who sell out the backside. Okay, thank all right, so of course, a lot of persons look upon L.A. Lewis as a madman in a clean clothes. Some people actually look upon him and say, This brother, I have a lot of sense, but the message I fly over a lot of persons' head. So I guess you can come to your own decision and how you feel about what L.A. Lewis is saying. Is he just making up random things as he go along, or is he actually speaking facts? That are the question more answers. Yeah, my people, so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And yeah, people, that's it. You know, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like share subscribe and turn the bell on bless upon yourself and people may go leave you know, with the videos them with papi over in a gambia enjoy himself and thing is it so yeah check out these clips Ha ha ha!